You may already be familiar with the photoelectric effect. Known for over a century, the photoelectric effect is a phenomena where high energy or high frequency light strikes a surface and the surface releases electrons. This is observed primarily when the surface is made of metal or semiconductor. Naturally, scientists are interested in measuring the number of electrons released divided by the number of photons, or light packets, that strike the surface. This value is called the quantum efficiency. At the University of Maryland, researchers are exploring the properties of photocathodes made from porous tungsten and coated with cesium. Why this particular design? Photocathodes can be used as a source of electrons for high-energy lasers for military defense applications. With this in mind, we want something with a high quantum efficiency. The cesium tungsten cathode is an important step in understanding the properties of semiconductor coated photocathodes and more sophisticated designs which have a relatively high quantum efficiency. So how do these cathodes work? Well, inside the photocathode is a reservoir of cesium atoms that flow through the pores in the tungsten onto the surface when heated. The cesium then diffuses across the surface and will evaporate off over time. This is caused by the same heating on the reservoir itself. It provides enough thermal energy for the cesium atoms to break free of their attraction to the photocathode's surface. At this point, you may be wondering how cesium is attracted to a surface made of tungsten. There are a number of factors at work besides molecular bonding. The cesium atoms are positively charged, which allows them to induce negative charges in the tungsten. In fact, the situation is very similar to reflections in a mirror, except with charge rather than light. Another set of factors are the van der Waals forces among the cesium atoms. These are due to the mutual attraction of atoms at distance, while mutual repulsion when very close together. Thermodynamics also plays a role in the evaporation of cesium. You might have heard of the second law of thermodynamics, which states that entropy always increases. Entropy is a measure of the number of possible arrangements that can occur within a given physical system. Thus, systems will be found in the state that has the most arrangements. For cesium on the surface of tungsten, the cesium has more arrangements the lower the density of atoms on the surface. Therefore, the cathode will prefer to have a lower concentration of cesium on the surface than a solid layer. To accomplish this, the cesium must have a larger chance of evaporation when there is more cesium on the surface. Using this model, scientists have been able to simulate the diffusion and evaporation of cesium and even predict the quantum efficiency of the photocathode itself. Simulations have remarkably shown that the quantum efficiency is relatively uniform with the cesium coating that doesn't block the pores of the tungsten. Researchers at the University of Maryland continue to refine and test this model to better align with experimental results and understand the behavior of these cathodes. And now you know. Thanks for watching.